Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a fun hobby project. I'm going to create the breath analyzer. Do it yourself breath analyzer with Lego brick parts, MQ3 gas sensor module, mini OLED display and an Arduino sketch for Anavi gas detector. In the next 10 minutes we will learn how to use a cheap sensor for detecting alcohol, we will write code, we will play with Lego, we will go on bar crawl for testing and of course there will be a lot of epic failures. Now let's get to work. I'm going to use off the shelf components so no soldering is required. For this project I'll need MQ3 sensor module, Anavi gas detector, mini OLED display, a bunch of wires and a lot of Lego bricks. The most important part for this project is MQ3 gas sensor module. It has high sensitivity to alcohol. Let's have a look at the data sheet. Notice that it has a preheat time of over 24 hours. Explained in simple words, this means that you have to place MQ3 in a room with clean air and after that to turn it on for very first time. Wait for 24 hours for the initial calibration. After that, each time when you turn on MQ3, you have to wait for a couple of minutes to do a quick calibration. The initial long calibration is also called burn-in procedure. Once again, I repeat, it's done only once at first boot of MQ3. We need to attach MQ3 sensor module to an appropriate Arduino compatible board. I will be using Anavi gas detector. Although this board has been designed in general to be used with MQ135, it is also compatible with other 5V analog sensors including MQ3. I have designed Anavi gas detector using the free and open source software KiCad. All schematics are available at GitHub and the board has been certified as open source hardware by the Open Source Hardware Association. This is a fun hobby project for the weekend, so I'll create the case of our do-it-yourself breath alizer using Lego bricks. I have purchased Lego Classic Medium Creative Brick Box which is available under the number 10696. It has almost 500 parts, which is more than enough for the case. Before we proceed with the exact steps how to build the whole thing, I have to warn you, MQ3 is not very accurate and reliable. This is just a fun hobby project. It comes as is without any warranty. Drink responsibly, never drink and drive. I have already created a simple Arduino sketch for reading data from MQ3 attached to Anavi gas detector. I have shared the sketch in GitHub so you can just go there and download it. I'm not going to do a deep technical dive into the source code, but there are a few details that I would like to highlight. Anavi gas detector is powered by ESP8266, therefore at the beginning of the sketch we are including the appropriate header. The sketch also uses appropriate library for controlling the mini I2C OLED display. Function detect alcohol reads the analog data from the pin to which MQ3 has been attached. Depending on the value, it displays information on the mini OLED display. There are different threshold values and depending on the state, it will write on the screen either sober, 1-2 beers, drunk or totally wasted. In a previous video, I have already covered how to install appropriate Arduino libraries and how to flash custom firmware on Anavi gas detector from Arduino IDE. If you want to learn more, please have a look at the links in the description of the video. Now it is time for the most creative part of this video. I'm going to build an appropriate case for our do-it-yourself breathalyzer with Lego bricks. Using female to male jumper wires, I'm attaching both the mini I2C OLED display and MQ3 gas sensor module to Anavi gas detector. I have found a green Lego plate with an appropriate size and I place the board on top of it. I'm placing Lego bricks around the board in a way that they will keep the board on its position. 
Anavi gas detector is powered by micro USB cable and there is an appropriate connector on the board. I'm leaving a hole around it when I'm building the Lego case. After that, I'll plug the USB cable in it. I have to build several rows of bricks and I have to leave an appropriate place for the mini OLED display as well as for the MQ3 sensor. I'll place the MQ3 sensor on the top of the breath analyzer and below it will be the mini OLED display. There's so many parts, so I have to use my imagination. I want to be able to put the breath analyzer in upside position, therefore I'm building with Lego bricks some kind of legs. The tricky part is how to properly mount the mini OLED display. Displays like this are very fragile, so I have to be extra careful. Sometimes small details can make a huge impact. So I'm going to add eyes and a mouth to our breath alizer. This way it looks cute, right? It's time to turn it on, but Houston, we have a problem. During the initial assembly of the case, I have managed to do something to the wires of the mini OLED display. Therefore, I had to disassemble parts of the case to do the wiring again and to give it another try. Finally, everything is working and it's time for testing. The first test will be on the desk in my lab. I personally rarely drink, so it was a challenge to find alcohol in my house. I found a small bottle of the traditional Greek drink Uzo, which is good enough for testing. As soon as I opened the bottle and put it close to the MQ3 sensor, the smell of alcohol is detected and you can see the text displayed on the mini OLED display. Uzo is a very strong alcohol, so the breath analyzer detects it immediately. If I move the bottle away from the breath analyzer, the alcohol in the air decreases and the text on the display changes. Well, everything seems to work on my desk. I have the confidence to try out our do-it-yourself breathalyzer in a bar. Welcome to my hometown, Plovdiv, Bulgaria. And by the way, also the hometown of Anavi gas detector because the printed circuit board has been made in a local factory. Plovdiv is one of the oldest cities in the world and it's European capital of culture for 2019. The best place around to try out our do-it-yourself breathalyzer is Kapana Creative District. This neighborhood is in the city center, it's full of bars, restaurants and cafes and attracts a lot of tourists. The name of the neighborhood comes from the Bulgarian word Kapana, which means trap. It is called like that because of the small, narrow streets that all look the same and you can easily get lost. And by the way, breathalyzer in Bulgarian is translated as dreger. Kapana offers a lot of things to do. There is one particular bar famous for its craft beer. Let's visit it. I'm bringing a USB power bank with me to turn on the do-it-yourself breath alizer. And as soon as I turned it on, oops, we have another problem. This cool looking bar offers a huge selection of beers. Some of them are local craft beers, other imported beers. You can smell the alcohol in the air, literally, as soon as you enter the door. It used to work on my desk, but obviously the air in the bar is totally different. Let's do another quick test inside. Unfortunately, it still doesn't work properly. They have tables outside, so let's get out and stay there for a while until the MQ gas 3 sensor shows that we are sober. I had a couple of beers while waiting and now it's time for another test. Well, unfortunately it shows me as totally wasted, although I just had one, two beers. Obviously, I need to go back home and adjust the sensitivity once again. It's been a long weekend and I'm tired, so I won't do another test, but you can grab my source code from GitHub and give it a try. Please adjust the threshold values according to your environment.
honestly, this was not exactly the initial idea that I had in mind for this video. There were some ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you have fun watching it. Let's wrap it up with some conclusions. MQ3 is a cheap sensor for detecting alcohol. It is not very accurate and requires a very good calibration in the exact environment where you're gonna use it. It worked pretty well on my desk, but you saw the epic fail when I entered the bar. With more tests and better calibrations, I'm sure I can get better results. It's funny that I also figured out that the correct spelling is breathalyzer, but my do-it-yourself gadget has been already called the breath analyzer. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Please comment below any recommendations, suggestions or questions. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos about open source technologies.